Hello and welcome to another video blog from home and today I'm going to talk about do hot flushes cause a temperature or a fever? If you like my tips and advice then please subscribe and remember to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of all my new videos. This is a question that I have been asked a lot just recently. A lot of women are wondering in that when they get a hot flush or a sweat, is that putting their body temperature up and could you measure it? The answer in general is no, but it's quite important to understand what the mechanism is for a hot flush. And once you realize what's going on, it can be much easier to, to sort and also you'll know exactly what's going on where in the body. So what exactly happens here? We know that oestrogen interacts with the brain and your central nervous system and the central nervous system helps to control your body temperature. So when your oestrogen starts to fluctuate or and this is the interesting bit, you get really anxious or stressed, then your body's own thermostat, it goes haywire. So the, the brain then thinks, I am getting far too hot, the body's getting too hot, I need to do something really quickly before I overheat. So what happens is that your blood vessels suddenly open up and very often it tends to be the chest area, the neck, the face and the head. Although for some women it can start in the feet and, and others in the hand. At the same time, your body is so desperate to get that blood to the surface where it can cool down that very often it will induce palpitations as well. Your blood pressure will go up, so your circulation will be whizzing around all over the place, trying to get to the surface of your skin so that it can start to cool it down. So although you are feeling really hot and sweaty and you're thinking, you know, I feel as if I'm having a fever, your body temperature doesn't go up, so you can't measure it with a thermometer. What may happen is that your skin, just for a very, very short while, maybe one or two minutes, the temperature of your skin can increase just because of all the extra blood that, that's surfacing um, there. The problem is that once your body has done this cooling down process, very often it can slightly lower your core temperature. When that happens, the body then goes into panic mode again, thinking, oh, the core temperature is too cold, it's too cold, we need to get the body temperature back up. And what happens then is very often you will start to shiver because shivering is, is when your skin and your body starts to shiver. That's the way of generating heat. And some women find that once the uh, sweat or flush is gone, they start to, to shiver or they start to chatter or they start to get chills. And what happens then is that process will just very, very slightly bring your temperature back up again. But it's quite, you know, if you think about it, it's quite a process um, that, that goes on here. So in that moment, when your body feels extra hot, as I said before, although you're feeling it really hot, there isn't actually a rise in your body temperature as such. So it's not the same as having a fever. A lot of women liking like hot flushes to a sudden creeping feeling of heat that just very slowly works its way up. Other women find that it's a very quick rush of heat that comes all the way up to the head or, or the, the face. Some women liken it a little bit to a sort of pulse. Suddenly they, they feel as if, you know, maybe it's just their heart going that little bit faster that suddenly everything is, is creeping up. So the one thing to be aware here is that if you have a hot flush or sweat, it's not going to raise your temperature. In most cases, the flush will be over quicker than what you could um, take your temperature with a thermometer. The difference between that and a fever is that the fever will be prolonged. That feeling of heat will go on. It's not something that happens very quickly and, and then subsides. Also, if you have a fever, you will notice a difference in your temperature if you take it with a, a thermometer or, or some of these other um, temperature taking machines that you can either put in your ear 
or in your forehead. So I hope this answers your question. Um, the, the, as I say, the mechanism for hot flushes is really quite a, a fascinating one and it lets you see just exactly what's going on in your body and how falling oestrogen can interfere with the way in which our body controls itself in very, very many different ways. Any of you have any comments on this or want a little bit more information, then please do get in touch and I'll see you again shortly for another video from home. Bye.